Hi guys, it's Jessie Holton here, your Stamping Up demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com. I'm currently doing a series of videos and blog posts with this really gorgeous little one stamp set. This is only available until the 31st of May, so if you love it, jump online and grab it now um, because it's only available while stocks last or till 31st of May. So my uh, blog is jessieholton.com. My May host code is 9CWM9DDS. And if you shop with me this month and you spend $50 or more, you will get a pack of the clear faceted gems, which look like this, but obviously you'll get a full pack. <laughs> and you'll get a handmade card from me. And you'll also go in my um, customer drawer, which this month is a $50 voucher because we've got a brand new catalogue coming up and everyone wants new stuff out of the new catalogue, right? So uh, $50, you can spend it however you want. Uh, and uh, so let's get started. Now I made this really cute little card with some white heat embossing on black. And you can see that over on my blog. I'm going to do something with a sort of similar layout, um, but a slightly different uh, look. So I'm using the Smoky Slate cardstock and I'm cutting it at 14.85 and scoring it at 10.5 bit of an overzealous scoring there uh, and then I'm going to cut yeah I need a new blade on my trimmer um, then I'm going to cut and I'm going to do a little sort of matting effect like what I've done on this one so uh, what did I do the last one? I did 9.1 by 13.5. Okay, that's my top layer. And then thirteen point eight by nine point four. So that way we've got even borders around everything. So uh, by doing a, um, I usually, my normal size border is 14.5 by 10.1 uh, and that leaves two millimeters around the edge evenly. So if you deduct from there and keep it even on both sides, then you'll always get an even border on the edges. So, Let's get started. I thought it might be fun to try uh, a sort of faux watermark look. So this is one of the brand new stamp sets from the June catalogue. And this is the Love What You Do stamp set. And this watermark is really, really pretty. And I've been using it on a bunch of Mother's Day cards, which you can see on my blog. Here's one. So I actually just randomly stamped this watermark on shimmery white cardstock and then I cut out the sentiments. So they've each got just a little bit of the watermark on it uh, rather than the full thing, which I thought was just, you know, something a little bit different and a little bit pretty. But um, this stamp is really, really gorgeous. Just got a little air bubble in there, so I'll let him out. Okay. Uh, so let's get started. Now I'm going to do I think that's going to be too dark. I'm going to do pink pirouette. Let's have a go anyway with pink pirouette. Now I've got my stamping pierce mat here and I actually just leave mine in the plastic because then if I get ink on it it's really easy to clean. Just be sure that you don't stamp on this bit because it will create a line under your stamping. <coughs> so I've been doing a lot of cutting with my trimmer lately so it's gone a bit blunt. So I'm going to do it up this way, and I've actually already tested this, so this really cute little 
TP fits just nicely underneath that watermark, right? So I thought that, that would look really cute. And we're going to try it out anyway. What do you reckon? Does it look pink enough or does it just look dirty? Maybe I need to do like a pinker pink. Maybe I should have stuck with the sugar plum, huh? <laughs> hmm. It's a great thing about this cardstock. It's nice and thick and you can just turn it over and work on the other side. I'm just going to run my finger down the edge just to smooth off that cardstock where the cut where the cut is, you know, sometimes it sort of turns up because it goes down that little groove in the cutting groove. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to do sugar plum or should we make it brighter? Maybe I'll try some melon. Melon man bow. So we've got workmen here at the moment. You can probably hear them in the background. Soaring away. I think that looks better. Alright, let's go with it. <clears throat> so I'm going to make sure that this is dry. I'm going to run my heat tool over the top of it. Just make sure it's dry. Rub it down with my embossing buddy. Alrighty, and let's do some Versamark. So I'm just going to white heat emboss over the top. Ah, hopefully I didn't bump that then. And we're going to use this other little... Uh, sentiment because I used the other one for the first card. I'm running out of blocks. I haven't cleaned any of my blocks. It goes there. <laughs> Alright. So just make this guy on straight. And then just pop it down there. And then I'm also going to do this little floral. Okay. It's my husband talking in the background, thinking that he's being hilarious. Okay, and then I'm going to white hit emboss this.
Okay. Now, if you saw the uh, video that I did for the black card, you'll notice that I was a lot more particular about the white uh, embossing powder not being all over the place on it. Uh, but you've got a little bit more leeway with the spray cardstock because it's, or with lighter cardstock in general. I think that's quite cute. Although I probably would have preferred the sentiment to be more in the middle. But still, it's a very cute card. Okay, let's get it all put together. DSP to put in between these layers. I think I might do. The Mitsa Magic DSP has a little florally pink one on the back there. So let's do a cut it this way because it's already been chopped. Okay, bye. So that was 10.1 by 14.5. Stick that on the card front here. Do some dimensionals on the back of this one. And you do want to make sure that you use lots of dimensionals, space them not too far apart, um, and try and space them out evenly because they are going to really support your card. And especially if you mail it or it gets put away for storage and squashed a little bit. <laughs> You know, you want it to look nice if people hold on to it for years to come. And you want it to look nice when the postie delivers it. So make sure that you use enough dimensionals to, to support your card. I think that's pretty cute for a little girl card. So we've got a little uh, boy card here with the blue in the background and pretty similar design 
little girl card. And using that watermark from that uh, new stamp set. Love what you do. The main stamp set that I've used here today is the little one stamp set. And I've got a couple more ideas in mind for this, so I'm going to keep working with it and bring you a few more cards uh, based on this stamp set. So if you love it, make sure that you hop online and get it, uh, because this one's available from 1st of June. Um, and, oh, this one's actually available now in a bundle, in an uh, a early release bundle. So have a look at my blog if you like this one. You can get it now. Uh, otherwise, it'll be in the catalogue in June. And this one is available while stocks last or until the 31st of May at the latest. So if you love this one, jump on board and grab it now. <clears throat> you can use my hostess code uh, 9CWM9DDS and uh, you can shop with me at jessieholton.com and follow the links through to my online shop from there. And uh, I will spoil you with goodies, I will send you a card and I'll put you in my monthly draw. <laughs> so if you have any que questions or queries, uh, please get in contact with me if you want to know how to use products or techniques or anything like that. Let me know, I'd love to do a video for you. And uh, you can call me anytime for a chat. <laughs> this is Jessie Holton, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia. JessieHolton.com signing off. See you later.